So, heading to the movies by myself, solo dolo. If you would have asked me this like six months ago, I'd have been like, hell no, I'm never going to the movies by myself. I think it's so weird. But, um, I went one time like a couple of months ago and I was like, oh, this is not too terrible. Especially when you go like in the middle of the day when there's nobody in there anyway. So, I'm going to go see Selma because, um... I wanted to see it in the movie theaters, like, opening week. I wish I would have went this weekend, but with the rain and everything, I was at my parents' house. It was so nasty and so rude, and so I was just, like, not going to go out in that mess. But um, now that it's cleared up, I'm going to go to the movies and see Selma. So I just left the movie Selma, and babe, I cried so many times in this movie. It is flawless nearly flawless amazing movie and i just encourage everyone to go see it if you haven't seen it i was watching the um oprah prime time special about the movie and you know she was saying divine timing and yes it is just divine timing that this movie is out because if you watch this movie and you see the kind of correlations that's going on with our country today it's a little mind-blowing um but i i think it will help us put it into a different perspective than i think what we are seeing today i just was blown away by the movie like i said i cried several times like i cried <laughs> from the beginning like almost to the end um i mean flawless performances just amazing the actress who plays um coretta scott king is flawless and i'm surprised she's not getting the buzz that um i think i know it's oh well oh yellow oh it's like david i think his name is david but the guy who plays martin luther king jr has, has definitely gotten a lot of buzz, like award buzz and uh, award buzz and stuff. So I think she should too, and the movie should. Headed to my parents, check on my dad. Thank you for everyone who sent, you know, well wishes and everything. He's doing much better. He's been released, um, and so he's recovering a lot faster than we thought, um, or as it was expected to be. So he's at home, and he's doing really good. So I'm going to go home and just see him and check on him and everything. Um, today was training day, so um, I did work out, and of course it was recorded. So I'm going to insert that montage right now. today um i wasn't hobbling out of the gym but at the end i was ooh, i was tired but um you know working on a lot of new stuff did some arms um obliques and 
you know, we were laughing because my little, you know, my um, muscles in my legs are starting to, you know, poke out just a little bit. So I'm seeing a lot of good progress. Definitely not um, like numbers wise or pounds wise. Like I said, I was one, like 130. 1, 132 when I started, I'm still there. So some days, you know, just depending on, you know, water weight and stuff like that, I'm anywhere from 130 to 132 on any given day. Um, if I ate a lot, it might be 133, 134. But um, I'm definitely seeing a loss in inches and things fit better, stomach's flatter, um, love handles smaller, but, um, you know, we're gonna work hit this road. I'm going to stop at um, CC since everyone's been raving about this. <laughs> I know it's a shame. I'm just doing this because I keep seeing everyone talk about it. But it's Mardi Gras season and they have a king cake latte which probably has like a million calories. So this is beyond my calories for today. Um, but um, I definitely was like, oh, I got to try that because it sounds really good and everyone has been talking about how delicious it is. So we're going to try that out. All right, so let's try this out and see how good it is. It smells good. Mm, okay. If you're a sweet coffee drinker, like you like your coffee tasting like sugar, this is for you. Not the most amazing latte I've ever had in my life. Does it taste like a king cake though? It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. So if you don't like your coffee too sweet, this is not the coffee drink for you. But if you do like it, where it doesn't even talk, taste like coffee anymore, it might be the one. So I had to make a pit stop, one, because I have to use the bathroom. Like I use the bathroom, sorry, a little TMI, but I use the bathroom twice before I left the house. Before I got in the car, I so said, let me use the bathroom because I'm about to be on the road. And it was like, soon as I got in the car, I had to use the bathroom again. But I've been drinking water so much with the working out and stuff. And, and then I still, you know, like I brought my water with me. And it was like, soon as I took a sip, I was like on the road. And I was like, I got to use the bathroom again. But my dad called and um, to, to see where I was. Because, you know, he like, I was supposed to be there. But I forgot I had the training session. So I told him I'd be there like at noon. But then I forgot I had my training session this morning. So... Um, I was like, you know, do you need anything? And he was like, he needs a really good pair of pajamas. And so I was like, gotcha, Dad. So halfway home, and I am at my favorite spot, Target, the Target in Lafayette. So I'm gonna run in this Target and get my dad some pajamas and use the bathroom because I hate public restrooms. But Mama got, I wasn't gonna make it another hour. I was gonna have to stop and use the bathroom somewhere because this is. Just well, that ended up being more than a lot longer stop than I had planned on it being um, because who knew finding pajamas with the button down would be so hard after the holidays I guess everybody snatched them up so <laughs> really hard to find but luckily there's like a JC Penney's in that same shopping center and I went there and uh, they really were pretty expensive there um, but I got them at least one set and I will just order some more and send it shipping to the house because um, that was that was a little painstaking trying to find that. Um, but I did get him some like pajama pants to lounge around because he'll be in bed so he'll be nice and comfortable. Um, and the lady at JC Penny hooked me up with a 30% off coupon. Appreciate that. Um, so, you know, a girl like to save because they were $50 for one set. I was like, oh, child, that's, that is a lot. So, um, got that done um and i will just find some more they have some at macy's but they don't have a macy's in lake charles so i have to just get them and ship them i'll order them online or something i'm pretty sure i can find them online a lot cheaper because the girl likes to save her coins so i'm going to uh just do that so on to the next um getting there a lot later than i had planned on but you know i'll get there mm -hmm. 